Honduras items, two Double Trouble, two, and Spoils of War, two guys. Um, we are just trying to hard force a new comp that I found on Reddit. We're gonna get a Vi here, not bad. We get a Morello, that's pretty bad. Uh, we get Ash though, that's great. That is actually great. Hold up though, what are we doing here? I think we're just gonna play just that, right? We're gonna sell this. I feel like I need to sell these guys though. I can't really win streak early game. I don't wanna sell the buy. I don't wanna sell these two. But I gotta sell this, right? Ain't no way. We're not gonna win streak early. All right, so we're hard forcing a combo. I, I'm pretty sure we sell by as well, actually. Because the moment we find a Swain, we're playing Noxus early game. But honestly, I kind of want these guys as well, because if we find a Jin... So anyway, uh, we're playing a Twisted Fate comp. You take Twisted Fate and you hard force the perfect items. And um, it's actually a very creative comp that involves Sijuani and Mila together. Because Sijuani has a passive that when the enemies are hit by her spell or by anything else that applies frost, like an eternal winter, or the ash as well, which is also part of the comp, then they take bonus true damage during that time by any attack that hits them from your teammates. And Nila has the AoE whip, right? And that's gonna work really well together. Our Ishtal is electric, so we don't really care much about that. We're just gonna keep chilling here. We have a bad early. We'll just keep chilling. Um, and yeah, we just need to find 2 star Nila, 2 star Sejuani, and the comp is actually insane, okay? The person posting it on Reddit showcased a player that farmed 700 LP in 3 days. All the way from Diamond 4 to 300 LP. In 3 days, just playing exactly this, what I'm about to show you. Now keep in mind though, the more people will see this, the more people will play it, the more people will buy Sejuani's and Nila's, the harder it will be to pull off. But, uh, this is such as TFT, right? Such as TFT. There's only a limited amount of these champions in the pool, and if everyone's playing the same thing, well, no one's gonna find them. At least no one's gonna two-star them. Now, the thing is, the other problem is, Nila, last game, I already tried it once, I went dead last. <laughs> Classic, guys. Okay, Redemption is a great item. I have to just settle with the Redemption. I have to settle for a Redemption here. I think I'll just play two of these. I'll buy this guy. So yeah, it's a very cool comp. I can show you the thing again. This is the level 8 comp if you get to this, right? But it's pretty difficult to get to. But the level 7 comp is just gonna be... The Vi. And, uh, what, what else was it? Uh, what else was it? Oh, yeah, 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 this guy. Where's this little gentleman? This guy, right? And then you just have two Freljord. You have three Bilgewater. You have two Strategists, but who cares? Uh, Bruiser. And you have that Vanquisher with the Ash and the Nila. But the most important part is seriously just Sijuani being extremely tanky. You getting those perfect items, double rapid fire cannon onto Nila. And you're good to go. Okay, so this thing gives me a two star Casio as well. And the, and the rapid fire. Oh no, it, there's a bug where it resets. Ah, unfortunate. You'll see what I'm talking about. So usually what should happen is I get this champion now, right? And then the bow still stays a bow on the on on the on the on the thing. On the bench, right? Because the, the, the item you get from the carousel is not supposed to re-roll. What, what actually happens is the Casio combines and the bow just re-rolls. Ooh, I still got the bow. Nice. It re-rolled, but it re-rolled back into a bow. You feel me? We do get Noxus, finally, which is freaking great. Honestly, though, do we even want it? Be honest. Don't we just want to make 10? I feel like we just want to make 10, bro. Like, I mean 30, of course. Isn't that better? I think it's better. And then we don't want swords. Well, we do want swords. We want the Giant Slayer. But we want the Rapid Fire first. Honestly, I could go for a rapid. I could go for a sword right now. 
Um, now, something to note is this comp is not as good when it's a golden augment because the golden Pandora's items gives you a full item, which takes a long time to reroll into the perfect items. I think I'll, I'll prioritize rapid fire cannons first. Actually, I could go for a sword. I could go for a sword real quick. It doesn't matter though. Can I even can I even put it to, onto her? No, I can't. It rerolls first. But again, it doesn't really matter. Um, so the problem about this is right as you saw as you heard me say, I had to settle for a redemption. The most important items are double rapid fire on Neela and the giant slayer as a last item usually, and um, then the other important items are a blood uh, not a bloodthirster a warmogs onto that Sejuani because her. True damage scales with health, with her health. So that's extremely good, right? And then what you also want is a Protector's Vow, so she starts ulting as fast as possible. Uh, so you can get that true damage right at the start of the fight. So that's also really important. And the Redemption is a good third item. It's great. Double Warmox is great. Gargoyles is fine. Bramble is fine. Dragon Claw is fine. All of these are fine. Redemption is fine. I wouldn't settle on redemption usually, I wouldn't aim for a redemption, but because rerolling a full item takes so long to get the specific one you want, uh, we, we just we just settle on it. Because I might just it might just keep rolling into AP items, right? And then we just go dead last. There's this guy, that's pretty good. There's a bruiser as well though. Alright, so not bad. The early item holders for this Casio will be, um, or the early item holders for Nila. Casio is great. Casio is just one of the best one cost champions right now. And uh, Sw uh, the Jin is also great if you get Ionia. I'm really glad I have Pandora's items. Look at this. I'm really glad we can just reroll them. Okay, I definitely level here. We are level 5 now, we get a chance at thing. I mean, I don't have to reroll this, to be honest. There's a giant slayer. Let's start the show. There is a giant slayer. I guess I play Noxus here, but it will give me Noxus emblem. Potentially as an augment, which isn't good. Uh, which we really don't want, let's be real. We don't really want Shreemar Bruiser emblem either. Mm. Let's take at least Shurima out. Bruiser Emblem is also pretty bad, but at least it's okay. And then I think I just go for the Giant Slayer for now. Okay, cool. And then you want a Protector's Vow onto the Jarvan as well. So he just like, ults at the start of the fight as well. Or very quickly. So you can just lock them down. Because the fights are very quick nowadays. Because of Zaya being so OP, right? She just one-shots everything. Um, so if you can just stun her, you can probably win the fight. Before she one-shots everyone. Because her frontline is also very weak, right? The Zaya comp is all about either killing the enemies in like 3 seconds, or if you're not strong enough, you will lose in 3 seconds. As Zaya player. Alright, not bad, not bad though, not bad. Know your enemy is absolutely great. Your units deal 12% increased damage, absolutely great. Anything better? Nah. Know your enemy is great here. Completely amazing, actually. There's a belt that is great. I'm gonna stack her for now, but we'll have to sell her to find uh, to find the other girl. I'm gonna level here for sure. And then now the question is, what do we play? So now we need to be careful. So usually you don't have to do this, but because I'm here on the freaking on this portal, right? On the dreaming pool, we need to manipulate uh, after the wolf fight that we get. The unit we want, we need to manipulate that we get Vanquisher, so I have to roll earlier. I'll probably roll here. I have to roll here, yeah. I have to manipulate the game into giving me uh, a Vanquisher, which is hopefully gonna be... Well, actually, no, there's only one 4-cost Bilgewater, right? Yeah, there's only one 4-cost Bilgewater, so we need to just go for Bilgewater. Because if we go Vanquisher, there's Zaya and Nila, and then I can get either of them, 50-50. But if I have Bilgewater a lot, then I will get um, Bilgewater, yeah? I'll get I'll get the Nila. Okay, okay. So we can get a guaranteed Nila here. That's great. That's really great. Because again, the only problem is the bottleneck of this comp is you won't find a Nila. That is the only problem we really have. At least that's the only problem I had last game. 
So this is a Protector's Vow, right? Which is great, or half of Protector's Vow. But I really want to prioritize getting the Warmogs down, so... I'm not going to save this item. I'm doing a lot better than last game. Also really lucky. This guy has Scope Weapons, which is the best augment for this comp. But also one of the best augments for Zaya and Nila, because Nila is just amazing with this. But he gets a Noxus Emblem, which is so freaking lucky. Because now he's not going to go for my comp. He's going to go for Mordekaiser. So that's really lucky from my perspective. Because now he's it's one less guy going for Nila. Also, this guy might reroll for J uh, Ash, and he will. So also one less guy going for Nila. Just amazing, guys. Very lucky. This guy is going for Nila. You see? So he's going to go for Nila. That's going to be annoying. Also, as you can see, I repositioned here to not die to him. That won me the fight. I repositioned because his Kiana was on this side with the rogue thing. So I put my girl in the middle and we're chilling. I'm second pick. The Zaya gets taken instantly. The Jarvan gets taken, unfortunately. But there's still one amazing thing. Look at this. I hate this game. This is a complete trash game. Okay, I take the bow then. Just take the bow. Uh, unfortunate. <laughs> but it's okay. We're just a little bit on the wrong side there. We lose the 50-50, so I lose the Sijuani. But it's fine. Sijuani... So Johnny is kind of more contested than it used to be, but it's not super contested. Also, I get my Warmogs, which is huge. Which is absolutely huge. And then, honestly, I should level here, right? I I'm just leveling and rolling here, man. Okay, I found the thingy. I need, I need to have Bilgewater active. That's the most important thing. Okay, so most of my units are build water now. So I can get the guaranteed girl. Also, we're definitely not going for the three-star trash lord. So the way Dreaming Pool works, again, this is just for this portal. You don't need to know this for just generally playing the comp. But the way it works is um, gain a champion that fits your team. Fits your team means the most units with the same type. So what I could do if I had more money, I would buy the Nautilus here. Because I can just play two Nautiluses, and then I have four Bilgewater units on the floor. But I mean, I should still get, I should get Nila anyway. There's another Bilgewater unit, I will just buy it. But I don't need to roll here. As you can see, the two-star Casio saves me a lot of health here, doing really well. Also, know your enemies really good, because uh, most people play Vanquisher this, this uh, patch, so... Uh, or Bruiser, or a little bit of Strategist, like... Yeah, you, you, just, you just have everything active, man. It's very great. It's very great. I will need to find a two-star freaking Ash. Okay, I'm I'm in a lot better of a position than last, last time. Also, um, people usually give names to these comps. The Reddit thread creator didn't give a single name. Like, I remember, usually, people... One guy made a comp about Bandle City. The thing where you feed your unit snacks with a, the with a spatula. And he went Shurima Chugath on it. And he called it the Obesity Comp. You know, people usually give it a, a, a silly name. Guys, I present to you. I was first gonna think we should call it the Frozen Whip. Or the Frost Whip. Because basically, Sejuani freezes the enemies and then the Water Whip. Uh, Nila comes in and... You feel me? With the Water Whip. But guys, let me let me present to you the cool whip. This is the cool whip comp. Guys, I'm extremely proud of that one. Okay, I'll keep it a buck fifty. I'm extremely proud of that one. The cool whip. All right, guys, let's see what happens here. We need to roll down and we need to f f uh, find our freaking thingy. Oh my god, Protector's Vow. There's our Nila. That's already great. And now I just need to roll for a two-star Nila. Uh, what else am I looking for? Am I stupid? Oh, freak. That guy is amazing, no? Alright, that's already good. That's already really good. Okay, 
hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need a two-star Vi still. Well, I'm not even playing Vi. That's my bad. See, that's that's what I was thinking. What what am I missing? I'm missing the Vi, brother man. As you can see, the true damage of Sejuani is coming in here. It's coming in. We have the perfect build. Well, again, there's. I think a Bramble Vest is the perfect third item instead of the Redemption. Because the Bramble Vest is just, again, like, I'm not kidding when I keep telling you, you need to just fight the Nila and the and the Zaya players. <laughs> they are just the strongest in the game right now. You need to just fight them. Ionia Rise is pretty good here. Rising Infamy. I think that is just too late, no? But honestly, this, these augments are pretty bad, so I'll just take it. I missed, I missed the, I missed the thing, I know. Who needs a beat down? This guy's perfect for the next level. Honestly, I think he's better than, than Jarvan right now, because Jarvan is one star. Okay, so I'm pretty strong. The problem is, I don't have two star Nila. Uh, the reason you might be thinking, man, you are on a win streak. You have seventy percent. You have seventy health. Why don't you just wait? Why don't you just go level eight and then roll? The problem is, a million people play Nila every game. That is the big problem. And as long as you don't have Nila too, you're kind of in a pinch, because by the time you go level eight, the other people are still rolling at seven. Okay, but honestly, like this is just broken. Nah, this is just beyond broken. Now, this is just... He didn't lose a single health point. That's actually beyond broken. I'm not even kidding. Okay, but Rising Infinity++ plus plus is really good. I get a level 4 chest. I just get infinite juice. It's not that bad. It's definitely decent here. And I have Know Your Enemy as my damage augment. So it's fine. I'm gonna just wait and probably roll down again. I just need 2 star Nila. Like, I, I, I don't need anything past... Let's see, he has 1 Nila. He's gonna roll on 7 as well. I can't just wait until he gets 2 star Nila. Because then I just lose, right? And Nila 2 is so important. It's your whole damage dealer, right? It's your pretty much only damage dealer. But he only has one Nila. Okay, I definitely need to keep rolling here on 7. Because there's only one Nila out of the pool and my two Nilas, so... Also, uh, here you get uh, 5 costs, right? So I'm gonna get... I'm gonna prepare Bilgewater again. Uh, please don't lose. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna prepare Bilgewater again to get the Gangplank because if you get if you reach level eight and stuff, you wanna ditch some of the units to get Gangplank and stuff like that. You wanna get a Heimer for armor and magic pen, or, or actually heal reduction. You don't even need that much armor and magic pen because you have so, you have a decent amount of true damage, so you can actually get through the tanks pretty easily. Uh, let's see if I can get this. Is there a Nila? No, there's not. There's a Jarvan. Also, I don't have my double. Rapid fire yet. I'm not gonna get this Jarvan, unfortunately. Okay, we're last pick. Okay, we're in a much better position than last game. The cool whip comp, it's gonna work. I thought I would need more tries. I low key, I should roll here, right? Because two star Jarvan as well. Nice! Let's go, baby. That's huge. That's huge, guys. Alright, so we sell this guy. That's huge, let's go. Again, usually you have a two-star Jarvan here. But I I got very lucky, found an Aatrox, and I, I definitely think Aatrox is better than Jarvan. Because remember, the Darkened Dagger doesn't just give Omnivamp to, the, to this girl, but also um, it gives her health. And her true damage scales with health. 50... Health scaling, bonus true damage, when the enemies are chill and they get attacked. And again, the cool part about this comp is that you're just playing around that chill. If you remember in set 9, when Zeri was still in the game, Zeri did the same thing. You could go Sejuani with Zeri, it was a Chinese comp that people made, that people did. And it was called the Frozen, the Frozen Lightning. You feel me guys? But this is the cool whip. This is much cooler guys. You smell me man? Cool whip. 
What is Turbo BIS Sedge? Depends on the lobby. If there's a lot of magic damage. If there's a lot of... Wow, Jesus. Yeah. See, this augment, when I take it at the start, it seems kind of bad. Because it takes so long to make it a big chest. But if you take it at the very end, yes, you missed out on a lot of economy early on. But you get just such big chests at the end, man. Because they obviously upgrade the thing for you. So it's actually kind of wild. This guy's a one-star Morikaiser. We got very lucky this, this lobby because Morikaiser was so contested. Let's go, baby. That's a top four. It looks like a top four. And again, there is someone... That gained 700 LP playing this comp, guys. All the way from Diamond 4 to Master 300 LP in 3 days. It is an extremely powerful comp if you get all the puzzle pieces aligned. And this game, I am on the verge of it. I just need that last rapid fire. I just need one more bow. With that Twist of Fate augment. If you don't hit uh, Nila, if Nila is just too contested... You are going dead last. Like, I'll keep it a buck 50, guys. You're going dead last. But you can try to play Azir with Giant Slayer and Double Rapid Fire. He can do fine, right? And then you can just go for the tank items on Nasus and you can just play Silco Azir. The very normal Silco Azir comp, right? The very normal Silco Azir comp. Everybody should know it at this point. You get a bunch of Strategist and you get Sorcerer. Okay, I get my guy, this is good. You put him next to her so she gets the attack speed. We save this for the Jarvan. We can ditch her. We level. Play Jarvan here. Um, roll a little bit, that's great. Nice. No bow, still no bow. Still no bow, I mean I'm, I'm re-rolling everything until I get bow. I need this last bow, man. I reroll everything until I get bow. I, this guy wins the game, by the way. There's there's absolutely no way. This is the strongest piece of garbage Swain I've witnessed in my life. Ain't no way someone's gonna lose to this. Also, she's a little bit silly. She just jumps in like an idiot. Yeah, she's a little bit silly there. Uh, let me just show you the rest of the Jarvan and Zir comp. What, 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 what even was it again, man? What, what even... Uh... I mean, oh yeah, 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 you play this guy for Zone and Juggernaut. You play that guy for Zone and Juggernaut. I low key, do I even, like, maybe it's a 3 star Nila. Because the only way we can get first is if we kill this guy. How do we kill him? With 3 star Nila. That's the only way. And I'm griefing this guy, which is my third competitor, or my second place competitor. We're also griefing that guy, which is my fourth place compared. Okay. We're chilling. Nice. <laughs> and if you reach level, uh, if you reach the next level, you just play. Um, I mean, you can also just, if you have a two-star Kaisa, you just play Kaisa. You have some items. All right, GG. We're chilling. Honestly, we're kind of okay. This Mori Kaiser is so strong. And again, we're still missing the most important last component, man. It's a freaking rapid fire cannon. It's kind of egregious that I still don't have it. Because I could definitely. I would definitely be even healthier here. I would have more than 46 health if I had that. Man, this trash game, bro. Come on, man. Where's my thingy, little guy? I, I can't. I can't. I have to reroll three items. Like, oh. A Rabadons on, on him would be great. But we have to reroll all three items until we... So we raise our chances to get that one bow. Because that bow is just so freaking important. This guy's a three star... Oh, he's eight invoker. Oh, that's, that's GG. That's actually just GG. Okay, I'm against one star Nila, one star, one star Zaya. Ain't no way I'm losing this. Ain't no way, guys. And then, yeah, Heimer instead of Aatrox is better. But honestly, the Aatrox is fine. And honestly, I should probably be playing... Um, uh, but I like the... I like the... I like the Juggernaut, you know? If I find Heimer, maybe I'll put back the... Oh, frick, this is so unfortunate. It's just a double rapid-fire div. 
Nah, it's just so unfortunate, man. Well, she dashed away! Uh huh. I'm gonna cry, man. I'm gonna freaking cry, man. Vanquisher emblem, Bilgewater emblem, Bruiser emblem. There's a Heimerdinger. I mean, honestly, it's probably just Heimerdinger, man. I'll keep it a buck fifty. I don't need any of these emblems. I I'm not gonna go for five Bilgewater, it doesn't do that much. I'm not gonna go for Bruiser. That, that would do a little bit, but I I'm not gonna kick this for a Bruiser, I think. Okay, nice. I got my bow. I get a huge chest. Oh my goodly good. Oh, frick. Okay, now I just roll down. And I just go for the thingies, right? Also, BT. Does anyone get BT? Or do we just re-roll it? I feel like BT is fine. I don't need Shrinky. The, the guy in the Reddit thread recommends full, um, full, full heal reduction. 15 heal reduction. Holy frick, I found one heal reduction. Also, this always goes on the Jarvan. Okay, heal reduction against this guy is insane, obviously, but it's still not enough to beat him. I'm gonna reroll BT. BT does nothing. Um, we might have to give up on 3 star Nila. Because this guy is still very much alive. Okay. I am probably third or fourth. But it's pretty successful considering it took us like 500 million years. Like, I, I'm not even finding... Like, it's pretty it's pretty successful. <laughs> give it a buck. It's pretty freaking successful. I think that the film on him is fine. Like, look at my look at my luck on this as well. Okay, I, we, we have to give up on Nila. L look at my burn burn luck. Like my burn is just not happening. I'm gonna go redemption here. <laughs> my, yeah, like rapid fire took 15 years. I have one burn after rolling like 600 gold. <laughs> this guy has eight bank has eight um. Eight Invoker. <laughs> I think we're pretty happy with our performance here. Considering uh, not really anything too special happens. In terms of my stuff that I got. No, 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 no! I have to lock for the burning... Okay, that's game over. Yeah, I mean, again, so, okay, so this thing has Gargantuan Resolve, so it has basically a Giga Titans with Demon Flare. So let, this is not even, I've never seen this, I've never seen this, this is something that you see one in a million years. So this is, this is not even, like, th th this guy isn't even playing the game, he's not playing the same game as we are. Then this guy is just Zaya, but he doesn't even have two stars, but he still does well. Because it's that bro, I don't know, man, I I'm kind of upset. Like, this, this game looked better than a four. But people are so strong this game, man. And I could have prepared there to get a 2-star. I don't have a single 2-star. Uh, just double Protector's Vow on the Jarvan, I believe. Double Protector's Vow on Jarvan. I don't have a single 2-star. I mean, the game could have definitely gone better. He d does have a two-star Zaya now, and he does have Sentinel Spirit, so I am very scared. I'm very scared, guys. Double, uh, double Protector's Vow Jarvan can hopefully ult twice. Please ult twice. You have so many shields, you're healing. Okay, it's looking good. He ulted the wrong unit. I think I'm fine, though. I think he should be dead. Nice. And he has a two-star Aatrox as well. If this guy died faster, like if I took him out that one fight, then we could have gone for a 3-star Nila. Also, this guy is hopefully dead as well, and I'm second. And, I mean, no one's gonna beat this Swain. That's for sure. Oh, never mind! What the freak? Okay, I mean, yeah. Guys, I think we did extremely well. All things considered. Okay, so who do we sell? 
like this guy has the least impact, right? I would rather have a two-star. What's his attack speed buff? Does it his attack speed buff goes up from 35 to 50? That's insane. Okay. Alright, we have a two-star. We have a two-star. I'm fighting him. I'm fighting him. He's level nine. Alright, let's see. I have burn I have burn against him. <laughs> he has a two-star Ari. I think it's 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 a dead loss. Unless. Unless the triple burn! Burn it! Burn him! Burn him, you mother truckers! It's so unkillable. It's actually ridiculous. <laughs> Do you see that? And I kill him! Yes! I'm second! Oh my god! Oh man, what a close game, guys. What a close game. Yeah. I mean, guys, come on, man. You saw what I was fighting. I'm fighting three-star Karma, three-star Soraka, eight Invoker. I beat it. My ghost beats it. And then I'm fighting Swain with Gargantuan Resolve. Brother man, as soon as he transforms, you hear the music playing. Like, what the frick is this, man? Anyway, guys, this is a great comp. Try it out. It is extremely fun. Uh, again, it is very easy to hard force. You just take the twist of fate. You do exactly what I did and you're good to go, guys. Subscribe and notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views and I'll see you next time. Peace.